welcome to North Carolina. Specifically Asheville, North Carolina. Now yesterday we drove all the way from Richmond, Virginia. It was a five hour trip and it was the most beautiful trip I've ever taken because we were just surrounded by mountains, just peppered with the colors. The views were beautiful. There was a lot of oohs and ahs. Yeah, and for sure. Bus. So today we're going to explore Asheville downtown and all the surrounding areas, show you all the best places to see, the best restaurants, cafes. Yep boutiques and so much more so right now we're sitting in front of sunny point cafe and it's known as the number one spot here in asheville locals highly recommend it travelers recommend it in fact it's so good that it's first come first serve when we got here we're on a waiting list now for 15 minutes it was crowded and we should be next so you know what in a few minutes we should be going in to eat right yeah all right so let's go in feed the bees guys Yay, yummy yummy let's, tummy. <laughs> let's put it to the test <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I had a, a ranchero breakfast. Um, it was recommended by the waitress and she was a thousand percent correct. It was so good, guys, with cheeses and a, 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 a bean cake and eggs. That was to die for. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good with my egg. I had scrambled eggs, bacon, which I did not eat. There was a biscuit and some fruit. The eggs were just made to perfection yeah. fluffy soft yeah. cooked just right highly recommended but if you do go there again get there early because it did it does fill up pretty darn fast guys that place was packed food flying everywhere loud people drinking having a good time but the was wait good. wasn't long the wait was about 15 to 20 minutes so that wasn't right, bad to right, get right. in overall it was delicious it was difficult to film in there um, it was crowded, it was small, but the service was great, yeah. the food was delicious like we said. So so they are correct when they said that is the number one spot in Asheville. I would highly recommend going there. Only because we enjoy the food as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just about to start driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway and already it's very scenic. It's beautiful with the colors. I have nothing to say because I just want to get on the road and let's just do this already. There we go, baby. to Wash Creek Valley. This is about our fourth or fifth overlook and it just keeps getting better, better and, and better. better. These mountains behind me look like waves. They do, they go on forever. waves. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, again, super colorful. Even the trees right along the parkway are just gorgeous. Red, orange. Very colorful. Some of them even glow. I mean, it's amazing. I just don't think the camera is doing justice here. But, um, so yeah. that means, guys, come join us next year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is a must do. This one I should have had on my bucket list, but guess what? Now it is, and now it's checked off. It was on my bucket list, meaning oh, that's right. bucket list. That's right, that's right, that's right. She kept saying that. That's true. We so. share everything, even bucket lists. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look at how beautiful it looks behind us. It is gorgeous. All right, let's go check out some more foliage.
stripping down. I start all bundled up and then I end up Arcade, and I have to say, once we walked in, it was breathtaking. It, yes, was it was absolutely stunning. The architecture is beautiful. It reminds me of another mall in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where that designer actually brought the outside in. You felt like you were walking through the streets of Buenos Aires, and something very similar here because it has a very long skylight that runs the entire length of the mall. And you can actually look out and see other buildings, you see the sky, clouds, it's really nice. It's definitely worth the stop to stroll inside, take mm -hmm. a look at the shops, Window maybe shop, yeah, yeah. purchase something, mm -hmm. grab a coffee or just a drink, sit down there, rest your feet like we did. Yeah, we did, yeah. <laughs> so now we're just going to head on to our next location. Alright, so let's go. just visited Woolworth and why I am so excited is because I used to shop there with my mom when I was a young girl and it brought back so many memories. Yep. Now it's just a diner in there, a lot of art galleries, jewelry vendors. It was pretty cool. I had a pretty cool time in there. What about you? Yeah, I liked it because um, of all the different artists and the different styles of art in there. So it's, like she said, it's just one ginormous art gallery, an upstairs and a downstairs. You know, Woolworth was a like a, 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 a chain, chain of, of stores, stores that went out of business in 1997. I think it was it was actually similar to a Walmart. These dogs are distracted, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a dog right behind us. That's probably why the cops are behind us. Oh, I know. But um, yeah, so did you guys shop in Woolworth when you were younger? Leave us a comment down below. I would love to hear if you did or you didn't. Well, that was before my time, so... Um. Oh, whatever. We came to Double D's Bus Cafe. This conversion double-decker bus so behind us, cool. it is awesome. There are seatings up on the second deck, but Due to wear and tear, we're no longer able to sit up there. However, there is a courtyard outside that you can sit in and enjoy the cafe. This place is pretty happening. It is quite busy here. The yeah. constant going and coming of people getting coffees, smoothies. You can get desserts. Oh, maybe we should have gotten a dessert. No, guys. <laughs> but the coffee was good. So check it out when it you get was. here. All right, let's go on to our next location. Alright, so how many people know about Pac-Man? I do, I do, I do! <laughs> so, it's an old arcade game that we had so much fun on when we were younger. And now we found a retro arcade where they have all these old games. And you just have to pay $10 a person to give you a band and you can play games as long as you like, yeah. as much as you like. So we're gonna hang out, we're gonna hang out here for an hour. I love playing games, so let's get this party started! 